eighth from the sun lies the most distant major planet in our solar system, Neptune. At nearly 2.8 billion miles out, the sun would appear around 30 times smaller from Neptune. At this great distance, Neptune takes 165 Earth years to completely orbit the sun. And this drastically farther orbit around the sun would mean that a person who left Earth 10 years old would be a nice young 0 0.06 years old on Neptune. But despite its long year, it only takes Neptune around 16 hours to rotate on its axis, or the length of one Neptunian day. And due to its deep blue color, Neptune gets its name from the mythological god of the sea. Like all the outer planets, Neptune doesn't have a solid surface like Earth because it's made of gas. And though it might get its name from the sea, Neptune gets its signature blue color because its methane-heavy atmosphere absorbs much of the sun's red light. Despite this pleasant blue color, Neptune holds the record for windiest planet in the solar system, gusting upwards at 1,200 miles per hour. It was also the first planet to be discovered mathematically in 1846. At just over 30,000 miles across, mighty Neptune is around four times wider than Earth, which is why it's known as an ice giant. However, as far as our solar system is concerned, Neptune is still the smallest of the outer planets. Nevertheless, its size does allow it to harness at least 14 known moons that range in size from 20 miles across to nearly 1,700 miles across. On Neptune, you would experience just 12% stronger gravity than you do on Earth. Despite being nearly four times the size of Earth, Neptune is composed of far lighter materials, namely gases. And on account of this, you would only be able to jump around 88% as high and lift 88% of the weight you can on Earth. Your weight wouldn't change much. If you left Earth weighing 100 pounds, you'd only be around 12 pounds heavier on Neptune. What about that Neptunian weather forecast? There's a lot we still don't understand about the outer ice giant planets. But you can expect your average temperature to be right around 350 degrees below zero. Don't expect high temps to make it too far beyond this. However, the planet may dip down to nearly 400 degrees below zero. Hopefully you love wind, because Neptune may experience gusts up to 1200 miles per hour, or nearly four times the speed of an F5 tornado's winds. And this wild wind gives Neptune a constantly changing surface with clouds zipping across the planet. Of course, the surface of Neptune is far too cold to allow rainfall. However, astronomers believe that deep below the surface, the elements making up the planet are crushed under such great pressure, they form a rain of pure diamonds. And just like Jupiter has its great red spot, Neptune has many great dark spots. These temporary spots are actually gigantic storms, some as big as the entire Earth, with wind speeds over a thousand miles per hour. A new great dark spot emerged on Neptune's surface as recent as 2016. Even though Saturn has the most notable and showy bling in the solar system, Neptune even has its own rings, at least five of them. Only the rings are very dark, faint, and difficult to observe. Much of this distant, icy world remains a mystery, because Neptune has only been directly explored by one mission, NASA's Voyager 2 in 1989. Neptune may be the most distant official planet in the solar system, but there is one more stop on our planetary journey, Pluto dwarf planet.